this universal principles and laws has been shared for 5,000 years and being practiced through Chinese medicine, through Kung Fu, through many of the ancient Chinese art that is still being practiced these days. Everyone and everything is made of Shen, Qi, and Jing, and these are Chinese words, yeah. But what are they? So Shen is soul, heart, and mind. So the one Chinese character actually can contain all these concepts of the soul, the most uh, abstract of our existence, but they're there. How we know we have feelings. We feel good, we feel not so good, we feel uplifted, we feel depressed. That's our feeling heart. Mind, our mind are so powerful and it's very dominant these days. Yeah, We want our mind to be productive, to be calm, to be clear, but a lot of the time where our minds are cloudy, stressed out, over chattering, restless, right? So all of these soul, heart, and mind quality is very vital to our life in our energy and in our matter. So qi is energy. Jing is matter. Shen Qi Jing is what we are. We are not just this body. And if you have seen an acupuncture, you have seen massage therapy, um, these are the modality that focus on clearing the energy blockage. So the matter will follow. When your energy is blocked, blood will not flow, blood not flow, stagnation, pain, tumor, all these things start happening. Yeah? So this qi and jing level of medicine is being largely practiced among humanity for a long time. Yeah. And, but not many people are talking about this. We know in Chinese medicine, the most common uh, sense in that practice is when energy flows, matter f f follows. Yeah. So we know when energy is flowing, matter is healthy. When energy is blocked, matter is ill. Yeah. This actually goes in our relationship finances as well. Imagine energy is your financial flow. Yeah, if your financial flow, it's not so much about you have a lot of money, but imagine you have a lot of money potentially coming in, but it gets stuck somewhere, right? That's basically a lot of energy. It's an imbalance of flows. You have a lot of energy or a lot of money gets stuck somewhere. It's not gonna come into your life to move your physical life, to purchase the things you need, to buy materials, to create products, to serve, right? So this is not just in terms of health, it's in terms of our relationship, finances, and more. Now, what makes the energy flow then? The answer is the mind. Mind directs the energy. If we're stressed out thinking about uh, how did that person did this to me, so on and so forth, or worry about how am I going to do that presentation tomorrow? Our energy is either there or in the past. It's never here. When it's never here, we can't expect that energy to stay here, isn't it? When our mind is all over the places but here, of course the energy is going to be all over the place but here. Hence, creates a lot of challenges in our life, either have pain, have too much energy, or have um, depression, have um, uh, actually fatigue, chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia is a typical situation where there's just not enough energy, not enough matter that's making the detox process happening inside of our body. So mind actually leads our energy now we can of course continue to ask what makes our mind so stressed out all the time why is somebody's mind is more clear and productive than the others what's affecting this so master shall give us the an answer with dr rulin a uh, quantum physicist in Tao science they say heart is leading the mind and this entire concept of shen has a very profound explanation in there. In Tao science, it says, Shen is information. 
So spirituality, we call it spirit. We call it light beings. If you just look at it as information, right? The whole shen is information, and the soul is the content of information, while the heart is a receiver of the information. And mind is simply a processor. We all think our mind is creating our reality. Yes, but there is something higher. My only process what the heart receives. When we are not open to receive, you only get this limited amount of vibration information to process. Then your energy and matter is going to get limited for sure, because this is at the bottom chain. What matters is how much you're receiving. Then your mind has resources to process to make things happen. Yeah. So mind is not the boss. Heart is the boss of mind, but heart is even not the ultimate boss. We have a soul. If you think of the content of information as all the potential, inspiration, possibility, relationship connections, financial connections, all the possibility that is in our vibrational field, is the content of information, including all those we haven't seen yet, right? So all these are out there, out here, <laughs> that we can't even tap into. That should be the first place we address the issue, isn't it? If we have challenge in life, so we want to go back here to see what can we do. So this together, this whole shen qi jing together, creates our frequency and vibration. If we have a lot of uplifting information up here, and our heart is open to receive, and our mind is processing all the uplifting and positive information, then our entire frequency and vibration will be positive and uplifting. But if we have a lot of negative content, you know, we have past experiences, the way we were treated growing up, or the environment you be put in all the time. Or the environment we created to ourselves or to others all the time, they could be negative. Sometimes it's our choice. Sometimes it's not. But regardless, when we have a lot of these negative information, negative content, then the heart is not helping sometimes because we just keep hearing these negative informations. Then our heart tend to go into a direction of negativity. For example, um, uh, jealous, jealousy, competition. We believe we have to fight to be good. We have to be fight to survive. We have to fight to get ahead. That is actually the hard blockages here. When our receiver has this kind of in the filter, then imagine what mine is gonna do. Mine is gonna be super protective, always on guard. Stressed out because I am guarding my entire being from the whatever that is coming at me. I have to fight to get somewhere. Yeah, then your energy and matter is always going to be that intense of fighting mode. If we have a lot of the negative and that frequency and vibration will become a negative frequency and vibration. Yeah, so that's another possibility. We can also be a negative frequency and vibration. And this frequency and vibration creates our field. Tao is the source. We don't know what that source is, but we know we know we all come from somewhere. We know the planets, stars, the sun, the moon come from somewhere. And guess what? They are so intelligent and powerful. You never would worry about sun would fall off the sky tomorrow. We never had to worry about that. We never had to worry about the the Earth would start spinning. Or the gravity suddenly reduced, and we all flow into the universe. Right? We never had to worry about that because there is a greater source that is handling these entire existence that we don't even have a grasp what it is. But when Master Sha cultivate his own channels, greater and higher and deeper, he's able to bring this 
source, frequency, and vibration. So imagine the Tao is high up here, right? The Tao Shen Qi Jing is up here. And up in here, it's all positive, peaceful, love and light, because it's not about they're good, we're bad. <laughs> it's simply a um, science. To me, it's a simply a science because we live on Mother Earth. Um, this is another uh, universal principle and laws of yin and yang. If we live on Earth, there's yin and yang. Unless we don't want to live on Earth, we want to go somewhere else up there in a floating world where there's no yin and yang. When there's yin and yang, there is light shadow. There is up, down. There is good, bad. There is smooth, there is blockages, right? It's just the nature of Mother Earth that we lived in. And as long as there's yin and yang, we have to deal with it. Yeah, but we can help ourselves to face everything with the highest possibility when we have a channel of the Tao.